Hey everyone, I want to say welcome back to Pokemon Yellow. Um, last episode there was a lot of stuff, and last episode the uh, last episode was uh, full of surprises. And anyway, actually, one thing I want to do is I'm just hmm. Let's see how Kip is doing. You know, I'm thinking about it. It's, it's, um. Uh, what is it? Silent Bob has an, um, Silent Bob hasn't leveled up at all since I got him, I don't think so. Maybe I want to get him to level up, because that would be kind of cool. Yeah, I go for Spiro. Does he say that? Oh, he's using the ear. I do you think Silent Bob um, headbutt something as small as Spiro like? Just, just like roll over onto his stomach and then just like bash it with its head like into the ground. That must hurt. I don't know. Uh, Nintendo Logic who needs it. Oh. Wait a minute. That's twice now. And we might fell down. Hopefully it'll stay up now. Another Pidgey. I might just cut the rest of this out because I think we'll see where this is going. Okay, so... Yeah, we decided to use... King Wodon to kill a Spearow that the guy sent out and he's trying to learn agility. But what move is everyone go with King Warden again? Let's Thunderbolt, Quick Attack, Flash, Thunder Wave. Um. Nah, I don't really want agility. I don't think King Warden needs it. Now let's see, let's put. Hmm, let's see, big cheese is a little bit low leveled, lower leveled, in fact I think he's my lowest level now which is a bit surprising, um, but I'm going to put it in front because I just really want to try and get it to evolve. Oh, so what, did he just say what you're looking at? I, I wasn't looking at him at all, I was just walking past and he came up to me. Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about. I see bait. Wow, I still no tail whip. And we're going to that's kind of sad. Well, actually, I guess it's sadder that I know Bubble because water gun is better than Bubble from Kirek. This guy's using coffins. I guess that's kind of cool because even though know, we've seen like a lot of coffins from like King Rock and stuff, it makes a change from some pages, and that's kind of cool. I think a bit of variety because it's really boring when all these trainers just use the same Pokemon. Oh. Hmm, maybe it would be cool if Kevin made some stronger moves, but I think it's doing all right now. Another coffin. Let's just do this the quick way and get Dr. Vumbi out. Because I think it's been a while since we've actually used Dr. Vumbi, I think. And that's the easy way to take out. Oh yeah, Dr. Mumbi leveled up, that's actually pretty good. I will say for Pokemon that I don't usually use, I'm actually impressed with some of them. Oh jeez, that's right. Koopa's poison, so we're gonna have that annoying thing. Oh great. Ah, and, and we're blocked.
Oh, Koopa's still got to wait until it dies. You know, I'm going to have Koopa in front so it dies faster so you shouldn't have to put it with this poison animation because I know it can get really annoying me. Well, we're out of the maze at least. If I hear you kill my war turtle. <laughs> uh, that isn't so bad. It's like, you, you there! Kill my water turtle. Well, don't kill water turtle. I forgot Pokemon you can actually. Don't kill it, just make it fame. Put it out of its misery. But you know, I'm gonna actually try to fight back, even though I just went to use Wall instead of Water Gun, which was really stupid. But the level 29 Pidgeot, oh, that's. That's impressive. I also forget that I'm actually using a Pidgeot on my team. It's kind of sad that I keep forgetting that, but yes. To the sky. But actually, that's right, I want to evolve to the sky as well, but. Uh, can I. Oh, it won't let me check stats. Wait, Pokemon. No. Stats. Eh, got a wee while to go to level 35. You know what? I didn't actually want to use to the sky, but yeah, we'll just do it. Well, let's see how, how much damage does Swift do? I'm, I'm curious actually. That was quite powerful because Swift isn't. Swift is a fairly decent move, but it's not all that powerful, so let's uh, get King Ward on. I might actually start cutting out a wee bit of ice, because we've spent uh, what, seven minutes now on um, what's mostly just been battles. Making very little progress. Okay. Yeah, I'll just have to scan from just in case it can gain some experience. Yeah, I'm gonna fight these guys, but I'm gonna cut out the battles. Yeah, I was in the middle of fighting this Pokemon Mock, and I don't think I've showed off Mock and LP yet. But actually, I can't think of it. Seen... I think we've seen trainers that use the Pokemon Grimer, I'm pretty sure. If I, hasn't... If I haven't, that's a shame, but yeah, Grimer. Muck is Grimmer's Evolution. They're basically the same thing, but Muck's bigger. Um, Muck's actually a pretty cool Pokemon. It's a decent attacker and a pretty good defender. Also, what just happened? Huh. Um, yeah, since Muck appeared, I thought I'd like to show and just give a quick opinion on Muck. Muck's one of those Pokemon I think's kinda underrated, but then again, not a lot of people use poison types, and it's true they don't seem to have a lot of use except for beating. Um, grass, even though obviously with the new edition of Gen 6, so they can be poison. In fact, am I still recording? Because there's some. Oh, yes, I am still recording. That is good. Have you heard of a legendary Pokemon? Mm, yes. Not in the game in this LP, but yes, there are legendary Pokemon. There are things. Oh, far fetched! That's another new Pokemon. Um. So, I guess I'll just talk about Farfetch since it's out. Farfetch is a. Uh, it's not exactly a t powerful enough that it can be used. But my camera. Camera? No, mic fail. Oh, wait, Sword Stance exists in this game? I thought that was like a second or maybe third gen move. Oh well. Um. Yeah, Farfetch, when I was younger, I thought Farfetch was just really cool for whatever reason. And I think it's kind of a cool Pokemon, but it's outclassed by other flying type Pokemon, sadly. Also, yeah, now to the sky's poison, so now I want it to die. I should do carry down to do it. Now if I... And I'll let's see, what are you going to send out? You're going to send out something interesting. Another bird keeper. Yeah, Speedo, we've seen this before. Yeah, he has a Speedo and a Fido, real original of him. 
gonna do these battles and cut them out. Okay, that generator just has a Pidgey and a Pidgey. Oh, very original. Now I'm just gonna do this battle. This is the Wigglytuff. It is the evolution of Jigglypuff. I don't really have anything to comment on this Pokemon. Yeah. I like to mention, I'm sorry I'm like, only showing like, new Pokemon and stuff that I haven't been seeing in LP before and I'm cutting out all these battles all of a sudden. But, I feel like we really haven't made a lot of progress and I want to try and get somewhere. So, uh, yeah, I kind of sorry for that. Anyway, moving on, I, th I think these are going to be bikers that just have coffins. Let's see if I'm right. Well, I'm going to cut it and then tell you if I was right or not. Okay, I was wrong. So far, this guy's had two coffins, but now he's got a reason. Coffins evolution. Another good poison Pokemon that can hit hard and... Um, the thing will also was with its sprite, like... The big kids, like, all depressed and sad and... Well, I, hate I don't even I don't even know what to make of it. So now he's just got a bunch of coffins again. Yep. Okay, I was wrong. He had a coffin and then a grinder. So yeah. Fuck over all your cash when you listen to me. Hey, you'll be giving your money because I'll beat you because you've got stupid coffins. Yes. Okay, quick side note thing. I know this is probably getting really annoying with all the cutting out and then showing in thing. It, it probably is really annoying, but... In the small chance I haven't showed off Grimer, yeah, that's Grimer, Mox Pre-Evolution. And if I have showed Grimer and you forgot about it, then there it is. Also, Dr. Bombie's level 36. <laughs> My apologies, just as I went to cut off, he suddenly grew to level 37. Oh, he's trying to learn psychic, that's awesome! That's actually... Like, that is actually so good. We get confusion. But actually, let's just see what psychic looks like in this game. Use it on this wheezing. Oh, pretty much like. Whoa! Yeah, that was crazy stuff there. Crazy stuff, I forgot. Psychic's so crazy stuff. Oh, wait. Aren't this just like the two turns from back there? <sighs> I wanna get Silent Bob to try and fight it. Okay, one trainer just had like all oh, all oh, this is in a gloom, the other one had the Bulbasaur and I was or Oh he wait, he's poisoned now? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, oh Dr. Bombi's poisoned. Well my team is slowly but surely dying away. Okay, not gonna cut out from this trainer. He has a freaking Dodrio. Dodrio is another Pokemon kind of underrated, but it's a really good normal flying type. Can't let him fly, but it's a pretty cool looking Pokemon, I think. And I've never really used one that much, but they look cool and I'm sure they're really good. And Dr. Wumble leveled up again. And yeah, do do the not so cool pre evolution to do do. <laughs> Sorry about that, but I forgot. Yeah, I took on this guy. So. That guy to the right, that's Dojo and Dojo guy. This guy was just the guy with like pitches and stuff. Uh, moving on. Oh, one more trainer fight. Thought maybe we might show this battle. Because I've been, just been doing a lot of cutting. You know what? One battle I think I'll show unless she's got like five open. Three. Bill Sprout. Okay, I lost all interest. Oh, I'm out of psychic, that sucks. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna cut this out. Yeah, there's a big cheese is now. Um, well, with 33 now. Oh, so yeah, the big cheese was significant to this episode. How cool. And we make it to our next city, um, Fushka city, I believe it's pronounced. Maybe I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Anyway, I'll see you next time, because we've run out of time.
Thanks for watching.